Uh, how you going guys, Antics here again. Just want to show you how to do the glitched roof on the Buccaneer using a Panto. Um, and also just a quick rundown how to do the new arena merge. So first things first, you need to have one friend. Um, you need to, the person who's going to be doing the merge needs to be populating. They're then going to make their way into their arena and they're going to send their helper who will be outside an invite to their arena so what the helper needs to do is they're going to be standing outside they're then going to receive an invite from the person who is doing the merge an invite to um, come into their arena so they're going to open the invite up they're going to sit on the last part of the invite they're then going to push their playstation button and go to the person's name in the party who sent them the invite they're going to click on their name once until it says join session then they're going to double tap the playstation button to come back to the game and then they're going to accept the invite um, to go into the arena, they're going to accept it, they're going to double tap the PlayStation button, and then they're going to spam through all the alerts through the party. It's exactly like give cards to friends. Okay, so you're going to open up the invite to your friend's arena, you're going to double tap, uh, you're going to push your PlayStation button, you're going to click on your friend's name in the party until it says join session you're then going to double tap your playstation button to come back to the game once you're back in the game you're going to accept the invitation to um, the arena you're then going to quickly double tap your playstation button and spam through all the alerts if done correctly you will you will spawn in the person's arena and you'll be invisible so once you get this result and you're invisible in your friend's arena, you can start merging. So basically, I'm just waiting. Um, the first time I attempted it, I didn't hit it. So the second time I did hit it. But it's just important that you make sure you're accepting the arena invite completely and then quickly double tapping your PlayStation button to go to the party and accepting all the alerts to join your friend in the job. And that's about it. So once you get all those things correct, you will spawn in the arena and you will be invisible like I have now. So then your friend or the person merging is going to make their way to the car they want to put the modifications onto. In this case, I'm going to be using the Panto because that's what I'm going to be using to get the glitched roof result on the Buccaneer. So I'm going to sit in the Panto. I'm then, I'm then going to get my friend who's invisible to hop in the passenger side. You'll see the door open in a second. There you go. Now I'm going to hop out of the driver's side, let my friend slide over to the driver's side. I'm then going to hop into the passenger side. This now gives my friend access to drive my vehicles in the arena. So he's just going to drive it into the mod shop and around to the left or right, up onto the little alleyways. He's then going to hop out of the vehicle. I will then end up back into the driver's seat, I'll then also hop out of the vehicle. Now I'm going to make my way back to um, my donor car. So once you choose which donor car you want to use, you, all you have to do is hop in there by yourself and hit right on the D-pad to modify. 
once you are in the mud, of, uh, mud shop, you're just going to exit your vehicle and make your way back over to your panto. So you're just going to hop in the panto, hit options, and then go to your invalid job. You're going to hit the square button, then you're going to spam left on the D-pad, and then accept the job. If done correctly, you will get a little blip as you're driving out of the workshop. That's what you want. So when you spawn down, you'll see that the mods have transferred to the panto, which is a good thing. So now I'm just going to hit right to modify it, and I'm going to return all the glitched out parts back to the stock parts. So the roof has to be stock for the glitched roof effect on the buccaneer to work. So I'm just going to make sure that the roof is stock. So, yep, there you go. So you want to put it back to stock. All right, so I'm just going to exit the workshop. And obviously my car will stay in the mod shop, so I'm going to exit the vehicle. I'm going to make my way to the Buccaneer, which I have already upgraded to a Benny's vehicle. So I'm going to hop in. I'm going to wait for my friend who is invisible to hop in the driver's side. I mean the passenger side, sorry. Once he hops in, I'm then going to exit the driver's side. He will then slide over to the driver's seat. I will then hop into the passenger seat. This then gives him access to drive this vehicle into the mod shop as well. So once he makes his way in, I'm just going to park it outside of that, that rectangle there in the middle. So he's going to exit, which allows me to slide back over. I'm then going to exit, and I'm going to make my way over to the Panto. So to make sure I registered the Panto as the vehicle I'm transferring the mods from, I'm just going to upgrade, uh, purchase something, um, and then I'm going to exit and make my way back to the Buccaneer. Once I get in the Buccaneer, I'm going to hit Options, and I'm going to do the invalid job once again. So once I return to the mod shop, you'll see we've got an awesome glitch roof. And it was only done using a Panto, not a Regina or any of that. So there you go. That's all it is to it. Um, this is a pretty cool merge. So big props to Madge420. Um, definitely, definitely a good glitch. And um, props to him. So thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully this does help you a bit. Um, as you can see, we've got a nice modded interior in this vehicle, so yeehaw. Um, peace out, and I'll catch you on the next one.